there are two new faces in this photo op. India and Pakistan do not stand shoulder to shoulder as neighbours in the Shanghai Cooperation Organisation, though far from it. There was some will on display here, though. As leaders, we should leave a legacy of peace and amity for our future generations, not a toxic harvest of conflict and animosity. Instead of talking about counterweights and containment, let us create shared spaces for all. Mr. President, I congratulate India for joining the SCO family. Whether it be a matter of radicalization, the recruitment of terrorists, their training, or financing, if all our countries do not work in a strong and coordinated manner, it will be impossible to solve these issues. Security was a focus as this block expands. Leaders signed off on a counter-terrorism initiative. Russia bought up Syria. I am sure we will all intensify political and diplomatic efforts to solve regional conflicts, above all in the Middle East, and in particular Syria. Let me stress that there are reassuring signs in the Syrian conflict. China's President Xi Jinping, Afghanistan. China advocates building a regional anti-terrorism constitution to fight relentlessly drug-making and trafficking. China is willing to host, again, the cyber anti-terrorism joint exercise. China advocates to host a regional defense and security forum to draw a plan of cooperation in combating the three evil forces for the next three years. We ask all parties to support the peace process of Afghanistan. Mention too here of an SCO free trade zone, even at some point a development bank, a Chinese priority that hasn't been shared by Moscow. SCO's expansion extends its reach all the way from Eastern Europe to Southern Asia. It asks questions too, though, about whether admitting more members tests its efforts at solidarity. Belarus took up observer status for the first time, a country bordering NATO member Poland and Ukraine. China backs Iranian membership with sanctions lifted. Little mention of that amongst delegates yet. This group clearly has bigger ambitions. Many of those outside the room still wonder what exactly those will be and what it could mean for them. Guy Henderson, CGTN, Astana.